Hi there, I'm Vlad from BitcoinTakeover.com and today I'm going to do a very special unboxing as I have had this box at my place for about three weeks now but I got so carried away with work that I forgot to open it and not only that I forgot to open it but I said to myself I would do a video whenever I get my hands on it so I've waited for all this time just to do this video so I get to show to you what I got in the box and this is this may just be actually the nicest birthday gift that I got this year and there's a story behind it so as I open the box and I unpack and this is just a basic carton box and the box comes from Fulmo in Germany I feel like I need to tell you the story behind this and once again I ripped it apart I didn't get scissors, I didn't get you know a basic cutter stuff like that I just ripped it apart and the story behind this device which is in the box goes back a year ago when it was my 28th birthday and this happened just before the global pandemic before the lockdowns before everything and my friend medium squeeze on Twitter gave me a hundred dollars in Bitcoin and told me to buy Raspberry Pi so that I run a Raspberry Pi node and specifically I wanted to follow the Raspi Blitz tutorial and run a node using that dashboard software and the reason why I did not do it was because at the time I could not find any cases in Romania so in my country in all of the stores there were no properly ventilated cases and the Raspberry Pi 4 tends to get very hot so I gave up on the idea and just waited for the supply chains to start functioning once again but as I was waiting when I got the hundred dollars in Bitcoin in February 2020 uh, 2020 actually that's how we call it I I think the price was about nine thousand dollars and as I waited and waited I saw that massive dip which happened at the end of February or in March I think and after that the price started going up and a year later as I turned 29 so I have huddled that donation for medium squeeze or should I call it a gift because it was for my birthday I huddled it for an entire year and when that year has passed the valuation of that money has gone up so so much and it's so high that I was able to order something which costs about five or four times as much and it's not just the Raspberry Pi that's here, it's a whole product and I have spoken with Jeff from Fulmo and I feel like I should open this a little nicer. Okay, so it's open. What I have here is a receipt, a sticker with the Raspi Bliss logo, a sticker which says Bitcoin never sleeps, another one which says Bitcoin can't be racist, which is very true. And fix the money, fix the world. So I have some stickers, I have a receipt. I also have another stickers, which says something very nice about the banks. And I suppose I'm gonna put all of these on the device itself because I have a rasp raspy blitz and a four gigabyte version of it with the one terabyte SSD and that very nice shell it actually looks like a real product so this is pointless this is pointless this is the power adapter for the raspberry pi which is necessary for me to power up this beauty usb-c european union type of plug it's exactly what i need and what else do i have here i have the hyper bitcoinized calendar which is very nice and features pictures taken by bitcoiners of different places i guess i did not get a chance to look at it properly so right now you're seeing much more than i know about it but i wanted to get my hands on one of these for a long time and i was able to get these get this more specifically as a gift so every day of the year has one of these pictures that were taken by, I guess, Bitcoiners. I suppose it says at the beginning what you're supposed to find here. So yeah, you have a description 
which says, Welcome to the first edition of Hyper Bitcoinize, the Bitcoin calendar, making Bitcoin's history tangible and fun. The front side features an uh, apt BTC street art photo from around the world. All photos were shot by Bitcoiners, most crowdsourced in the Bitcoin awareness game and crowdfunded with BTC Pay server, paid for with Bitcoin over the Lightning Network. The logo location is on suspension points. The backside and features an inspiring quote with historical dates from Bitcoin history, firsts, milestones, trivia, and anecdotes. When there is a date next to a milestone or quote, it happened on that exact day. Enjoy this first edition limited to 2021 prints. Love, ideas are like flames. And there's a list of thanks to various people who I guess contributed with photos for this calendar. So you can get this one for about $10. It doesn't come in the most expensive type of paper, but as you can see on the back, you can see different quotes which are either from Bitcoiners or contain memorable events that happened on that day. And you can get this one as a collectible, I guess. It's a lot bigger than I expected. In pictures, I, I just thought it would be like 12 pages, one page for each month of the year. This is huge. There's a page for each day of the year. It smells like freshly printed. And it's like 10 bucks. So if you get a Raspi Blitz from the Fulmo shop, you should also look for one of these. When I got my Raspi Blitz, this was a gift. So thank you very much, Jeff from Fulmo and Raspi Blitz for sending me this one. And let's see what else is in the box because I haven't gotten to the main event. I still don't understand why people fetishize so much unboxings. I also have a red ethernet cable. I did not have a red one, so this is a first. So, uh, this is the moment for which you have been waiting for. I have teased you about this and another story about low time preference concerns this metallic shell. So, let me take this out. I've had this conversation with Jeff from Raspi Blitz and he told me that if I waited for two more weeks, I could get this version which has this enclosure, which is made of metal and looks very nice and feels nicer in your hands. The other version, which is like $50, I think, more inexpensive, only has a basic case for a Raspberry Pi. But this one looks more premium, looks like an actual product. It has a touch screen that you use to operate, so you're not going to need necessarily mouse and keyboard to operate the operating system in this Raspberry Pi. And it has the standard USB ports that you can see here. It has um, the Ethernet port. It has this USB-C port here, which I suppose is used to power up the device. And what else do I get here? I have a stylus, just in case my finger cannot touch specific parts of the menu, so when I access it, this is a lot more practical. And I also have an SD card, which I dropped inside the box. So this is an adapter actually, a Samsung adapter for the SD card. So this helps you connect the micro SD, which I suppose is already inserted and I can take it out if I figure out how to open this. So if you want to connect it to your computer, you're going to need this and it's a nice accessory that's much needed. And you can see on the inside, if you open this, there is a SanDisk SSD of one terabyte. That one will make sure that you synchronize the Bitcoin blockchain very fast. And it, what's special about this node is that it uses the Raspi Blitz software. And it's a dashboard software that has been around for longer than two years. And I know that there are other options like Umbrel, like MyNode BTC, and lots of others. 
that are popular these days but this one not only that it's open source but has been tested for over two years has been you know stable and has been improved and usually when it comes to open source software the best kind of software is the one that has been most tested and for example i saw some discussions about umbrel so that's u m b r e l and they said it's not very open source it has a type of license which allows you to use it for free but not necessarily to use it for all the purposes usually associated with open source software so this also means that there are fewer incentives for you to actually scrutinize that code and i would not trust it as much you know this is very sensitive stuff this is delicate it's about your sovereignty and if i want to check the code for this i can i can basically download it and burn it on an sd card so this works this is the plug and play version of it so i can just take the AC adapter which is here I take it out of the box and then I plug this to my internet router and that's it I'm good to go so this comes in black to also match with the case color I plug this one on the side so I think it's going to be inserted here oh no this is I'm sorry I was dumb so this is the SD card slot and you can press to remove it if you want. I'm not sure if my fingernails are long enough to actually perform this. But anyway, this is the SD card on the side. And here you have all the other ports. And if I want to power it up, I suppose that the port is right here in front of it. We also have two micro HDMI ports and I think this connects here. So yeah, mystery solved. Also connect the Ethernet cable right here and I'm good to go. I went for the version which is not pre-synchronized, which means that I'm going to have to synchronize the entire Bitcoin blockchain from scratch, which is the more secure option. and. This little device offers you the chance to synchronize via Tor, so you get a lot more anonymity as your IP address is concealed. And also, it helps you run a Lightning node very easily with a software that makes everything like a point and click, more like point and touch experience. And I don't know, it's very nice. It costs a lot more than more people, than most people are you know, willing to spend on these devices, but it's based on open source specifications. It's kind of like the Trezor. So I also like the Trezor as a hardware wallet because it's very transparent and you know what it does. You can verify the code, you can copy it, you can fork it to use it for other projects. It's just very honest. And I like honest stuff and I'm happy that I got this. I would like to thank Jeff because when I first spoke with him and I wanted to order this, he told me that the cases were out of stock and I would have had to wait like two more weeks. And I did wait two more weeks and I got it like a week later after my 29th birthday, but I'm happy I did. And I'm going to connect this. What I suppose I also need to make this work like a charm is like a UPS, which stands for uninterrupted power supply, I guess. So if I connect this to a new PS, I'm going to get a lot more of a stable experience from an electric point of view. And I don't want this to get burned. I don't want this to shut down when electricity goes down. And the Raspberry Pi consumes very little energy. And I actually wrote an article about how to make Bitcoin transactions more environmentally friendly. And you can find that one. And it's going to help you figure out that if you use Lightning and basically lightning is operated with some of these very low power devices you're going to consume a lot less energy so if you switch most of your transactions to the lightning network you're going to have a very eco and green and environmentally friendly and totology friendly experience so this has been it i'm glad that you stuck around to watch this it's an interesting device. It's very basic, it's simple. It's kind of on the expensive side. So I think it's like 400, 
in Europe you can buy it from the Fulmo shop and in the United States you can buy it from lightninginabox.co.co it's not .com, it's .co and you can also build it yourself so if you would like to get a Raspberry Pi, get a, an external SSD and get a, an SD card and all of the stuff that's found here you can build it yourself for like $250 so instead of paying $400 you pay $250 and you get the open source code and there is a full tutorial that you can follow to get essentially the exact same product except that it's not going to have this fancy case which is made of metal and I like it. I wanted to get something which looks nice which I can put somewhere around the house and it's not going to look like every basic Raspberry Pi. This is, you know, the node. It's supposed to look distinguished. If you ask me, I just have a different sense of fashion and style. So I like the elegance of this. I'm happy that I was able to source it. I'm still upset that I cannot find cases in my country. So if I want something with active ventilation, I'm going to have a hard time finding it for whatever reason. They are not so easy to find. So I have to order from China or whatever. And I don't want to order it from China. It's like $5 or something. I don't want to pay $20 shipping for something which costs less than that so i'm happy that i was able to get this from a european shop and that means that i did not pay any customs at the border usually when something comes from the outside i pay 19 percent VAT, and this is a nice design it's very compact i can hold it in my hand but then again i'm pretty tall i'm, I'm really sure that anyone can hold this in their hand it looks kind of bigger in pictures i'm happy that it's not i can put it next to my bookshelf and I hope it's also silent, the fact that it doesn't have an HDD, so not a hard disk drive, and it has an SSD, is going to make it a lot, sil a lot more silent, and you can sleep next to it. I suppose I'm going to have a lot of nice experiences with it. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to use this to open more Lightning channels to support the Lightning Network, let it run for a longer time, and basically, something nice which I also find in this device is the BTC Pay server, which is your personal... I don't know if I should call it like a merchant service, it's more like a place, an app, which generates receive addresses for yourself. So if you want to receive donations or if you want to set up an online store, BTC Pay is an open source solution for that and it's very nice. Plus, if you want to do coin joins, you have the joint market, which is the decentralized alternative. Well, the other nodes like Umbrel, like MyNode, and I think also Nodal, Nodal definitely has it. They have Samurai Wallet, which I'm not a big fan of for a reason which concerned their approach to their customers. So I prefer the joint market, which is open source and it's also transparent and decentralized so you don't need a centralized coordinator to find out everything about all the other participants so yeah these are the reasons why i went for this one it's open source i like it it's basic and if you get the money to buy one of these you should or if you cannot get the money to buy one of these you can build your own at half the price so you should consider it this is nice, I'm going to run it, I'm happy that I have it. I'm going to get back with an update and mention how long it takes for me to synchronize from scratch. Essentially, I'm going to synchronize from January 3rd, 2009, when the Bitcoin network got launched. So wish me luck, I hope it takes less than, I guess, two weeks, or I don't know what it usually takes, but I guess that's pretty standard. So I'm going to plug this and see the kind of experience that I get. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stick around.